And we're off to the races, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're back again. And the GG.bet odds are favoring Team Spirit quite handily here. Going for a light spread of utility. We've got two P250s on the board. And, well, Squeaky's open. SDY is taking some jewels straight away. And just pulling them away from main enough to catch them on the repeat. Rain goes down. Magic's the raid boss. Nico very loud on his descent here. And does get double swung. Good pick into the head of Mir, but Magic's continuing to be a bit of a devil with this P250 in Kevlar. Top side take, Kirby. Just gonna give a couple of bullets towards the lion's share. He spots the bomb, gets dunked on. Three on two as the bomb will go down. They're coming up secret stairs. Who do we have left? Cold and Brokey. Brokey does have the, you know, kit, smokes. So they've got some viability to it. And you've also got Cold with that P250 armored up. And the last three for the T's. East enough post plants. They've been given time to get into some nice little crossfires, getting to nice little positions. Brokey heading up towards heaven. First bit of contact towards disbalance, but I'm ticking. Brokey's now going to make his presence noted. Both players now seen. They know what they're up against, but Cold, can he isolate any of them? It looks like Sum Dai Young isn't giving away too much. Does go down. Time's of the essence now. Smoke goes in. Cold's error goes forward. He's holding nice. it. That stunning play. And the defuse from Brokey's going to be swift. This has to be big from disbalance. He's got one. Oh, he's out oh. of bullets. He does get the knife, but the round is to phase. Oh, okay. Well, with that knife coming on through, I just bounce finds himself with $4,500. And that plant probably will see Team Spirit will go for a force buy. So right here, they can have a very, very potent second round. I just bounce AK armor nades. You can Magix is on the AK as well. He's only gone for the Kevlar. Galil on chopper. Mir with a Galil as well, and SDY deciding what kind of utility spread that he's going to be looking for. He's gone with a Deagle. So this is very, very dangerous. Four rifles and a Deagle up against two SMGs, two Famuses, and the Scout of Brokey. On the top towards main, just to hold Rain and Nico at bay. You can see they can't enter in the top site right now. As they drop this smoke, the avenue will open. Kirby top of heart. We can see Cold Zero over towards ramp. We got Brokey back towards the heaven position with the scout to deal with that potential late outside lurk from I Disbalance. What a fun combination that could be when the pressure builds is Brokey and Cold Zera dealing with that ramp pressure. Kind of known what it was able to do against things like complexity and NIP. It worked very well for Spirit. Okay, so they've set up the wall smokes just for the secret cross. And Nico, he is already in position. Someone will have to push him back and that someone will be Chopper. Spots him in a nice exchange. It's a dink. Nico working with very little now. The Galil versus the Famas, and it's the Galil that comes out on top. And rotating into ramp room is Magix. A very precise young gun forces Brokey off with the flash from Mir. And they deny that info. So this is great work from Spirit so far. They've forced and corralled the CTs where they need them. Look how much space Chop has taken. And he's going to finish off the job. That's Nico gone. That's going to force the CTs. I think it's actually called Zera reporting and responding to that. But with three players ramped, this is such an interesting pivot. Oh, the timing. Chopper spots him. Timing's a big factor, though. 25 seconds. T's are going to have to really consider the steps they're just about to take. As uh, Cold Zero can always be a problem, but can't be proactive in hindering that bomb if it does go towards low, which is where it's going to be. Some die young trying to catch the rotations. Can't find Kierby. Game back on. Cold Zero goes oh, forward, finds Chopper. Frag. Huge frag to open up Decon. Another avenue now available for the CT side. Yeah, they've got very little, though. It'll be a flash out the door or just bullets. Cold gets hunted and actually finds another. He's making that fam ass sing now. Four CTs for the retake. Just disbalance and Mir. Trying to find cover. The flash was perfect out the door. Poor old Mir. Tucked in on dark. Hunted by Kirby. And that's a great stuff. retake. Great stuff from FaZe Clan. Up against practically four AKs. It was four rifles and... They managed to get a full 10 second defuse in the retake thanks to Cold Zara's fragging. And not only that, they get those rifles themselves. So you can see another Galil there just being picked on up. Oh, Cold Zero wants to stick with the Famous, doesn't want the Galil. And they get the two AK 47. So a really good round here from FaZe. They seem poised. And this is some of the problems we know that they've been having. We heard from Nico when we had a pregame interview uh, last week that they were discussing the ideas that they were losing uh, clutch situations, they were losing number advantage situations. The defaults weren't looking great. It actually just sounded like everything was falling apart, to be completely <laughs> honest. You know, with the individuals, you have uh, four of which are in the bottom 10 in terms of statistics of the tournament so far. That's not great. But another plant will facilitate a half by, and out top they go. Kirby's flashed on up. Rain to recover, and the stand is good. They've managed to deal with this top take from Spirit with ease. 
Now it's just Chopper and I dismount, and they'll be taken out of the equation pretty quickly. Does it go much quicker than that? Four left. Round's already over. It only took 20 seconds, and now they'll go in with the full eight case as well. So they were hoping to take a couple more weapons away, force the rebuys. They knew that there was a lot of saved AKs and Galils, so that was the intention. Didn't quite manage to overcome it. Rain with a triple kill. You can see impact player of round three. Brokey pulling out the AWP, so the enhanced scout now responsible for Yard. Who's their, um, who's their partnership outside, Chad? You know you've got your electronics and your symbols. It's Brokey and yeah. It looks like it's going to be Brokey and Nico. Yeah, he's so playing main. Cold okay. Zero will be over towards Ramp. Rain's job is going to be coming through main or up the ladder to help out Kirby with that top site lockdown. I think Nico having a lot of flexibility as the in-game leader of the team makes sense. I like to see that, especially from a, from a sharper individual as well. Uh, but a lot of it's in, in like the flux of the round. So it's going to be curious to see where Brokey wants to take the orb straight away. We can see that it is just the AKs on the other side of things. So he won't have to deal with eye disbalance and the big green that he's been wielding throughout the pro league. As I mentioned in the pregame, he's in the top five for orb kills per round, which is not a bad statistics to have to your name by any means. And we're there off we to the races. It is Brokey. See how perfectly timed that outside smoke is. Nico knows he's on the hunt. Brokey does manage to pluck this balance out of the pack. Mir, though, elevated and now deflated. Bullet landing in his rib cage keeps us level. Four versus three numbers favoring the CTs. Brokey's being hunted, oh, right. but Rain, the bodyguard, steps up to the plate. Quick double on the outside cross. Puts SDY late lurk in the lobby. Not really too much to manifest now. I think the stat line said that Rain only had like 95 kills over the six maps or something that they've lost so far. I want to go back and just double check those stats because that's the, I'll work out what the average is over the maps that they've played. Mm. But if he has a good game, that could be a bit of a difference maker here for FaZe. And I'll, I'll always be a fan of Rain, especially on Nuke. I mean, back when the pillar was out there, he was one of the first to find it and absolutely abuse the hell out of it. But I, I think he can be such a solid player. But it looks like so far, and it's super early day, of course, you know, we can't read too much into it, but this is looking quite good for them, individually speaking. So uh, if they're in a good mood, if the spirits are high, these factors don't normally make, you know, they're, they're not ones I like to lean on, but it, it does seem to help FaZe if everything's looking good. Ooh. Okay, so I just did the maths. Over the eight maps they've played so far in Pro League with the 95 kills that Rain has, that's an average of, I had to round up, 12 kills per map. So let's see how he goes and how he can recover. Nearly. That was nearly the perfect incendiary. Just a little short. Doesn't mean that they can't have to force a second out. So $1,200 squandered and caught with his weapon out. Nico catches a Deagle bullet, but he's shooting too. Double kill before they find him. AK now in play for this uh, Kevlar Deagle round. They throw over the AK to the Armored Mirror. Makes sense. And Brokey's already ruining it. Ruining all their fun. All their games. Mir very precise onto the first. He's up for a one versus four. A near impossible task. Bomb on his back, it certainly does make things a little bit more possible. Kirby responsible for the top side pivot. Secret unguarded for now. Things have faltered in these scenarios in past, but this looks like a more robust side. Rain, five to one. Comfortable thus far. But Mir's got a great deal of work if he fancies this. 34 seconds. He's trying to find a bit of room, which he has done, but there are a couple of players who could stop this. Kierby is one. Patience will be played as Rain. Oh. Will be the one to finish this. And this is a gorgeous performance so far from FaZe. Looking like Cold Zera, instrumental in that ramp presence. Brokey. A little dash on top of Nico as well. But we've seen Spirit when things go wrong. They still just go at it. Those, you know, consistent, stubborn hits. I, I don't think they're going to be dissuaded by it yet. Well, one of the keys that we were talking about previously was I just bounce on Nuke on the T side, getting it done with the rifle, not necessarily the AWP. So that's picked up the big green this round. Let's see how we go into round number six. But it'd be curious who the difference maker can be for Spirit because normally they're quite back and forth, quite competitive, other than when we get to Mirage. But uh, we're not there yet. That'll be the third map of the series here today, if we need it. Phase are off to a bit of a flyer. So those issues that Yanko was talking about, if they're able to avoid them, they might be able to change their own fate. SDY is down the vent. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the round, though. The fact that SDY got himself down there so soon, it could have made a lot of room for them. He's tucked himself into the vents, though. It does mean that their rotation at the moment is a really only a threat from ramp. They're clearing lobby now. 
Nico ready and waiting to try and buy time. He tucks in, opts for a more passive stance. You can hear them. B site is lost. I think he's been hurt as well, though. The footsteps he made after that flash came in, they must know he's in window. You can see they're searching for him. Chopper takes him down in the back, having no idea that was even possible. Nico goes down with nothing. Nothing. Chopper can find another one here. Disbalance is already posted up. They don't have to rush the plant. Eventually, it does go down. They've got a smoke to lock out the ramp room, and this might just be the save call. Yeah, it has to be. So they're just going to hang around, see if they can find any exits here, but I don't think Team Spirit want to give away much. The first round they'll be posting on the board. and Nice little outside smokes, bit of event presence, that's about it. Yeah, it was very simple. And I think, you know, the, just the silence that we're hearing right now at the tail end of the round shows you that it was done and dusted, very clean, very clear cut. Lauren, I watched the June trailer. Do you like it? Now, look, I'm not a, I haven't been a big reader for the entirety of my life. Like, I didn't read the Harry Potter novels. I'd never read Lord of the Rings and that kind of stuff. But so you were like a teenage sort of reader. No, but okay. so so reading June, it's something that I've picked up in like the last couple of years. I've been reading the series. It, <laughs> I, it takes me a long time. But watching the trailer, I, I now I experience what other people who have read the books and then a movie comes out for yeah. experience where it's like, that's not how I envisioned that this character. This isn't my world. No, it doesn't like, look like that. Like, it's I quickly put that aside. I quickly parked that. Yep. And I said, oh, okay, this looks cool. And you started on a hard one. If you were getting oh, back yeah. into reading, go yeah. to June, which is like actually just very hard to read. Well, Duncan was always talking about it and I thought it sounded interesting. So I, I wanted to I wanted to read it and then uh, Semler was saying that I should keep going. So mm, I haven't gone past the first. So I, I need to reread it. I was considering it recently. And back in we go. And I'm, I'm sure we're going to see somewhat of a similar performance. It feels like, as said, with Spirit, they know what they want. They're not opposed to having to work for it either. So it's going to be one of those that's a bit of a grudge match. Like Roki going for an aggressive AWP line here. It's potential for SDY to fall foul to it. Oh. <laughs> that's a nasty one-two punch, isn't it? Forced back into the line of sight from the wall bang. Did a good chunk of damage as well. Brought him down to 50, that one bullet headshot into the hut through a thick wall. Coldzera's playing the very tight line here, so be interested to know whether or not Magix is going to be checking that. Who's got that flight path dialed in? Who is checking close left as they swing? He's ahead of all the util. And Mir's the one to check it. Magix was responsible for the boost, but goes one for one. Keeps no the numbers. To lower yet, Alex. Yeah, it's a bit of a concern. It looks like it would be range responsibility on the smoke. Very loud. I wonder if that was meant to be deeper as well. There's going to be a gap there. Lucky nobody's home. It's faking the vent noise. So they're just trying to draw out anything from Team Spirit here, but it will be the lower hit. So smoke towards Decon, Molotov in towards the window, or make that smoke towards the window. So opting for a little bit different use of their utility here. Still 30 seconds left on the clock. Until this point, though, it felt like Cold Zero and Brokey had been doing the kind of bulk of the work towards the lower hits, especially, but then Nico had been there as well. But he's a little bit later to get down, it seems, this time. Unable to get through with that Molotov that came through from ramp. But now Rain is on the case, but he's having to clear as he goes. And I think this might be another one that you wrap it up. <laughs> Just saving after saving. There's nothing more frustrating, right? So we might see a gear change come out from phase where they want to take the round slightly more aggressively. See if they can take some territory. If you've been listening over the last couple of weeks, you'd hear me talking about things like yard control. And uh, at the top of the show, we were talking about maps played. I had a couple more map stats that I wanted to go through with everybody. So Nuke uh, is the most played, 22. This was actually be the 23rd time we've seen it played within Pro League, which is dust nuts. Dust 2, 16. Train, 16. Inferno, 14. Mirage, only 12. And then the bottom two, Vertigo 7 and Overpass, only 6, which is surprising because there was once upon a time where Overpass was, was quite a highly played two, map. Right? Big boys, yeah. Yeah, so that's 93 total maps before we started today so far. This is just the European division. And with that, I have a couple more fun facts. The most CT sided map we have, Train, roughly 60%. Dust 2 is the most T sided map. I think that was... 53 or 54% in the T-side bias. And then uh, a fun fact for everybody at home, Vertigo in the seven maps played, split straight down the middle, 50-50. Oh, really? Yeah, bang on the nose. Really Not even... Mad. Yeah. I thought it'd be way more T-sided the way we've seen it play exactly, out. Exactly, with all those A hits, right? So oh. it's a curious one. Ooh, good damage. Just a little warning shot coming out of the rifle of rain. Many different looks to this T side so far from Team Spirit. Looks like they were there setting up just to check for any early outdoor presence. This time no one's gone for it. Nico's just jump spotting at the moment. It's a very, very deep flash, but as we can see, they aren't going to do the secret wall smokes again. And there's nobody who can rotate down other than rain through the vent. Cold would have to drop all the way from the ramp position. His link player 
Actually, it's not cold who's there. It's Brokey with AWP. So that's even more difficult for the rotation. He's dropped a smoke. Cold is rotating over there now. It looks like it's going to be a late top piece here. So Chopper's just getting secret control. We can still see the posturing over towards the lobby. 50 seconds remaining. Yeah, this might just be a top hit. Oh, Bomb's heading over towards ramp now, so maybe take that one back. Yeah, Brokey's got a lot to do here. And eliminates the bomb. Magic spotted. They know Chopper did sneak behind the smokes with sound cues there, but a lower hit. Brokey can stick around thanks to Nico. Forced off now, re-peaking. Has to be aware that Mir could really be hunting, but so is Brokey. What a round that Stop. is. What a round. Triple kill. Just chop up, not checking his corners. Cold Zera confirming, and it will be phases six. Clean as well as we go back and forth. Yeah, now maybe we get the pace out of Spirit again, right? So when they dropped SDY down the vent at the start of the round and went for the fast cross towards Secret, they were able to get a lot more room. But here as the round trickled on down, FaZe are always the type of team who we talk about wanting to play heads-up Counter-Strike. And when I say heads-up Counter-Strike, I mean, if you just want to walk on in and take a fight, that's their style, right? That's their style of play. You need to use a few more smokes and mirrors, or smokes and mollies, to find that misdirection. And as we head over towards the lobby, this looks like a sky flash coming on through. I think it's a hard top. Yeah, they've changed up the pace completely. Yeah, Rain's gonna get caught out with his weapon in his hand and already into the top site. Two frags, round done. Save. Wow, there you go. One way to do it. Team Spirit, that's a very quick call. <laughs> but these are those pace changes, right? I, I remember we had uh, a post-game interview the other day. I was it? I was with Obo, uh, and we were talking about uh, the pace of the team on Mirage. And he was like, "Yeah, you know, they're slow play, but they mix it up really well." And this is an example of that mix-up. The previous round, they didn't start hitting ramp until roughly 25 seconds. This time round, straight into the top side, and you can see what that's done. The players were caught with nades in their hand. They were caught out of position. They weren't expecting that sky flash to come through, and Spirit are punishing with the change up of the pace. And and that's what you want to see in Counter-Strike. It's rhythmic. You're able to uh, make sure that they're unable to be caught on to the direction that you're going, or the direction and speed that you're going. As FaZe, Cold, and Brokey will be holding on to their guns. Money's good. They will be able to buy. Rain can drop Nico, or Kyobi could do the same. Gosh, I find that so thrilling. And, and bear in mind that, you know, Chad, I'm sure you know fear is the mind killer, as uh, oh, we do like okay. to say. Uh, okay. And, and that, it's going to put a bit of fear in face because you don't know what spirit you're going to get. Do you get that slow ramp play now? Do you get that quick hit upper? Do they switch in between the middle? Where do they go with this? Because mm. as I said, the pace is now something that they can't necessarily de deter determine themselves. So this is going to be quite fun if spirit can keep chipping away at FaZe, who did look so formidable in those first couple of rounds. It looked like they found the answer that other teams were trying to find a little bit of a uh, ending for Nico. A little bit different this time. He'll have early information here, but he has to win this duel with Chopper. He's just tucked himself into the reverse side of main. Meanwhile, Lobby very, very quiet. And this is the pace change. Spirit, team Spirit, they throw the smokes, they go slow. And FaZe have no idea. You can see the uncertainty. It's planted the seeds already. Chopper, in the same vein of that of Blame F from Complexity, happy to be leading from the isolated lurk. He's fine here. And yeah, Nico's has to drop all the way back, so they have no information. Cold Zero's dropped towards lower. He has to deal with that secret cross. Now they want to put pressure on Brokey, so Flash comes out. We knew that ramp was a problem. Remember, we spoke about it, how Oboe yeah. was tested and pushed. We're putting an AWP there. That's one way to deal with it. Seems to be working out wonderfully. That late arrival from Chopper, a constant threat. 38, it might have to be top site now. You can see there's no real options towards ramp, nor is there the vent option, as long as rain's still kicking. Good timing on his incendiary. That's gonna give him the sound cue that there's some mischief afoot. It will be Chopper's responsibility. No one can stop this if he finds rain. Oh, he checked. Draws his fire, forces him off the hut. That's probably their go, they have to. Team flashes. This is less pretty from Team Spirit. And Rain. Oh, they all line up for him. A quick triple to lock him out. Nico and Rain say no. Not today. And a seventh found on the CT side of Team Spirit's map pick. We're not loving the slow stuff, are we? No. Oh, Phaser. Yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I, I'm happy seeing Rain do well. He's, he's always fun to to watch have a comfortable time. You know, that Molly timing coming in so well for him. Like everything lining up. 
Um, so for him, it might just be a nice little confidence boost. But yeah, we like we like a little bit of quickness. Oh, so and I just had pace. Zabza reach out from COD4. He says he's Where watching he? the game. He wishes us all the best. You were a great sniper. He was a great sniper. He knocked great. me out of a couple is of lads. Is that you keep talking trash about in the green room while we're watching the, watching the COD4 streams? Is that the guy, Lauren? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That, 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 one. that one's uh, M Machini. Machini. Uh, Machini, uh, Machini uh, TV. Machini uh, TV. Okay. That was it. Yeah, right, different, right, different. Right. No, Zabza was a very good little French guy. Very aggressive as well. Um, quite fun to watch. Speaking He's of an fun. osteopath now. Really? Yeah. He used to be quite the uh, guitarist too. Uh, you know, the French, always good at multitudes of things. Uh, Nico, though, this is the position he was really able to hinder a little bit of that progress on earlier. Now, I wonder if Spirit have gone back to that look and if Nico's in the right place, feeling it out, he could be in the right place at the right time. That one way smoke's gonna slow things down a little bit for Spirit and all that damage done to Mir early has meant he's had to pick up the AWP, so Brokey to receive. Pushing forward his magics oh, and that's quick. the bomb, that is fast. Brokey is really quick and so damn precise. The little jiggle cost him his life. It's Mir that manages to keep things within the realms, but certainly not fun. And again, so this is clearly part of the Team Spirit playbook is just park a player red. They want to continue walking up. Perhaps they do. Smoke on main denies a lot of information. The bomb, don't forget, needs to be retrieved. Cold's flanking into SDY here, and that could be the round confirmation right there. Lobby clear. Disbalance out yard. Bomb there too. Kirby's aware and hears all of this. Hoping for the element of surprise here. And they bait him into the trap. He will go down and disbalance. I think he might have been spotted or at least it's going to be communicated. He can be heard as well. So he's descending towards the lower site. And CTs are going to have to get there in time to stop the plant. Looks like cold will. There's no nades for him to smoke off or try and molly the plant in here. So it just has to go dry and the door's going to swing open. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Hey, Rush, how you doing, man? Hello. How'd you how'd you like dinner last night? Uh, yeah, it was very nice. It was uh, a strange food, but I really enjoyed strange it. Strange food. Yeah, it was, was kind of well, like was some, a fusion. Wasn't yeah, it was it? a fusion. So it was. I've never had food like it. Yeah. Okay. I enjoyed they're it. They're putting though. Western things in bao buns. You know that is. A, yeah, I would call it strange. Sweet corn and gyoza. Yeah. That's very strange, but it uh, tasted very good. Sweet corn gyoza. Oh yeah, the uh, cheesy pillows. The cheesy pillows. Yeah. Mm. Is that what they call them? They have some really fun names on the yeah, menu. Okay. Some nice. really fun names. Um, Rush, did they treat you well while I was gone? Oh, uh, yeah, they... mostly. Mostly, I would yeah. say. I think they were very kind to me. They were very um, understanding. Uh, actually, I, I retract my mostly, and I say definitely, actually. We they, were, they were very nice to me. I feel like you're being pressured there a little bit by the whispered uh, mostly no. from Alex. No, but no, not at all. We'll talk later. I want a report on these two. <laughs> yeah, I have a, I, I wrote some, I did some homework yesterday on my day off. Oh, always, yeah? He always does. <laughs> I love homework. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Did you ever have a dog growing up, Brush? A dog? Yeah, did, plenty, yeah. Did you ever pull the the, the classic? I, I, no joke. One time a dog did eat my textbook. No no troll. And I, no I, troll. I, I, handed, I handed it to my professor and I said, hey, look, buddy, no, no troll here, but um, <laughs> the dog kind of ate it. No troll, pro. No troll. Okay. We have got Counter-Strike already transpired. Rain did fall early, so there's room for... Nico to rock the tip the scales. Oh no, he takes too long. He was playing with his food and he only gets one. A mere morsel. Could have been so much more. Jumping up on that red container. It's happened twice now. Kirby on the hunt for the loud disbalance, costing him his life to the no scope last round. It's a little touch of greed, perhaps, that's pushing Team Spirit into the driving seat, but only temporarily to four on three and numbers advantage for them. Brokey's holding the rest of the yard cross here. If they really want to do this, they'll have to use smokes. Ooh, that was the remaining flashes going in as well. A couple more to play with, but the smokes are now gone. Mm. Ooh, timing couldn't have been better. The T's are loving that. They've got no info oh now. Oh my gosh. And he's going to jiggle that again. Poor old Kirby. <laughs> Lost oh, his life. Oh, uh, we have some problems here. Yup. Hayes are in trouble if they can't salvage this round and they have Here to hold go. on to these guns. Brokey though, not bad. Finds one on disbalance on the cross. Molly's coming in. Cold Zero, they're pushing oh. forward. That's the benefit of having this caliber players, but it is down to a 1v1. 24 seconds and Cold's low HP. Please crept forward. He's looking for this. Magix is unaware, but he sees him. Well handled in the end by Magix. But my word, Cold Zero and Brokey just made that competitive. Wow, that was a real flurry of frags right there. I thought that they had done enough. Cold on low HP, unfortunately unable Brokey to. Brokey pushing out the flame. I yeah. mean, like, that makes perfect sense if Cold hadn't killed all of them. he just, As he was making that decision, Cold got a double. And so then overcommitted at a hard flick to hit. Magix just converts. Great shooting from him, but that's going to definitely be a little frustrating.
Yeah, you don't want to let them set up in the post plan, especially in a 2v4 situation just like that. Now, this is going to be the last dip for FaZe. Their loss bonus is at $1,900 right now, so they lose this one. Well, they're going to be on a bit of a save. And that is a chance for Spirit to steal away the half, potentially finding themselves an 8-7 scoreline for what was just feeling like a very, very slow start. They've just whittled down the economy and finding themselves, well, not in the driver's seat, but in a position to really pressure FaZe. Pokey is brave, but Disbalance has definitely got an eye on it too. Ooh, good damage. Surely Mir gets the trade. He actually chooses to stick around oh, wow. and finishes off the job. That's brave. You can see the tip of the disbalanced head. Probably not converted or aware of that. But now they're on the hunt. Nico around the world. They're just passing each other. Nico tucked into main now, though. So this partnership of Magix and Mir could cause a whole lot of mischief. Who's looking towards ladder? Is anybody sure. covering it off at all? Cold Zero's back cold is completely gets, open. If cold gets shot in the back again. This is going to be a really bad day. Oh, he's off. gone. Oh, it's tilt. Oh, uh, Did magics. They... You didn't have to. You didn't have to shoot me here as well. <laughs> Brokey then. Tucked in with a lot to do. The flank. Really, really a huge gap exploited. Maybe with this util, they can lock him out as well. Oh, Ren's going to bust through this as they're hitting the side. They want to stop the plan. Flash goes. He caught so many then. That's going to make it tricky. Nice play from Rain. Does that get... Uh -oh. Wait, the second he got Brokey then? That's mad from disbalance. Oh, and okay, it all comes together. I don't know how you quantify that, but it looks damn good for Spirit. Yeah, that's going to be one that's going to tilt phase off the face of the earth, especially considering that that was the one for the money as well. They invested so much. Cold down to zero after being flanked, unawares, pants around his ankles. Nico, a reluctant clutch in front of him. He needs to save. He also wants to do damage. Bit of a standoff here, hoping to catch this balance on the save. Timing. Ooh. Ooh he's not favorable. gonna get that. He's gonna get something. There you go. <laughs> well, he hasn't been able to scavenge the AWP, so if he gives up this M4 by hanging around, that means going into the next, they have nothing. Have a look at the right-hand side, and left-hand side of your screen even. You can see there, 1,900 for Cole, 2,600 for Nico, 2,000 for Kirby. They are broke, and that right oh, now is broke. five rounds on the board. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure how they lost track of, of Yard completely. That was Nico's responsibility, just assuming that they weren't going to brave through the smoke in the way that they did, in the fashion that they did. And now, Spirit will have a real opportunity here to get the next two rounds. And the reason I say that is next round will be $2,400 loss bonus, and that's going to give them just enough to get a relatively okay CT side of buy. But that means they have to take a save right here, and exactly that has gone down. Brokey's invested into the Zeus. We've seen him have a little bit of success with that before. Uh, fast towards Secret they go. So the MAC-10 in the hands of Chopper leading the charge. I just bounce, keep it on up. And the bomb will be lower already. So two players left to deal with the rotations. Mia and SDY. And this is the chance for Brokey to potentially find himself a freebie. The AWP would be fantastic, but I think... Imagine. Oh! Oh, caught looking the wrong way. Magic's very diligent with the clear. And well, this eco is all over Red Rover. That's not bad. A saved AK could be okay. Kirby, Aww. I think you're in a little bit of trouble, mate. I don't think you'll be picking that one up. <laughs> Miz just guarding that with his body in the way. Oh. Oh, he's double dipping. So many avenues of approach he can try. Maybe just hide on the roof, and then just as the bomb goes off, jump on the AK and see if you can salvage it. Ooh. Oh, hide and seek right now. Oh, he's subtle. Ah! Oh, parkour. Come on. Gave it a good go. I did love your parkour uh, video, by the way, Alex. Thank you. I'm an up-and-comer in the parkour scene. I love the line you had there. It's the a pretty cool line. The phraseology was fantastic. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was thinking about some Tic Tacs into a cat pass, but I was just, I, I'm not ready. you to feel it, right? Yeah. The vibe. Well, it wasn't in the flow state that day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had the ambulance on speed dial. They retweeted it, by the way. Stora Parkour. Oh, did they really? The world's largest parkour <laughs> group have seen me jumping on a <laughs> I liked your impression. Like you, obviously yeah, you're already sure, British, sure. but I've, you showed me some of their stuff, and then you did uh, a bit more of an accent. I was like, oh, okay, I can see you in the crew. Yeah, they're from London. <laughs> I can. Me and Lauren can hang out, jump, jump on some bushes and stuff. Yeah, we'll roll around. Have yeah, do some roly polies, some cartwheels. I used to be so scared of that as a kid, and I'd be scared of this as well. This balance has got to be cautious. Nico has been a presence out here, but.
but he has mostly gone one. We haven't seen him succeed beyond that, but that's a pretty decent amount, but it hasn't equated to round wins at this point. This was the low buy for the CCs I'm talking about. It is M4s, but no defuse kit. Very light utility to work with here. So they need to find the jewels, find the fights, and hope that Team Spirit don't just get that lower control for free. So Brokey's jumping up in a similar fashion to how Nico did. And they're going to fight, and they're going to die. Yeah, the spray from Brokey is trying to support. Often they have disbalance just overseeing all of these operations. So if you do choose to reload, you're going to go down. Mir pushes into the warehouse to find himself another. And he spots Rain as well, tucked in on main. Oh, he's hunting. Oh, Rain. Oh. That's the way to go. Oh! Some serious gaps being exploited at this point in time. His balance being challenged out, a double swing into the orb goes down. Puts Cold into an unwinnable one versus three. If they go top site, he's in for a shot. But Spirit looking to be playing this one very safe. It's a 50 50 for cold. You may as well tuck in. 25 seconds. They've got to keep an eye on the time here. Threats can arise in these final moments where things get a little bit hectic. Magic's hitting him first. 17 seconds. Here we go. It's the top side, the 50 50. Oh, come on. Bloody hell, Magic. You check that with the orb, do you? All right. Spirit have woken up. FaZe kick things off and look deadly. But eight rounds is all they're going to end on. To even surrender. Would you give up your rights and let your life slide away?
Do or die, Group B, Phase Spirit. They cannot afford to drop another series. It has been a consecutive five series lost. Ten maps we've seen Phase beaten, battered, bruised, and the same for the second half of the first. Team Spirit mastering quite the nicely comeback on their T side, breaking the CTs with some nice flanks and mid-round calling. So certainly not all tickety-boo. You can see GG.bet seems to agree. The bookkeepers and sponsors do seem to be pointing towards the... Plucky underdog. Utility for FaZe. Cold and Nico, some of the hardest hitters, unarmored coming into this pistol. I've got Sponge and Pansy alongside for the ride. We can see the lineups for Nico. Going to be trying to put one out towards oh. main, and it's going to fill the gap of what was Mir. Past tense. Rain makes sure of that. Spots disbalance on the jiggle as well, so he'll know to put that P250 to good use, dropping him off. This has all gone well for FaZe so far. Chopper needs at least one here. Needs to slow this down. Ow. Green's having none of it. That's two already. On for the third, potentially, too. He's chasing Magic down. The Magic stops it before it gets oh. far out of control. But this is brutality from FaZe. This is just straight up heads up fights, and this balance gets warded away. It's a moment there that could have fallen. It could have, right? Yeah, was, I was holding my breath. It's good poking and prodding that was going on, but back up the vent they go. This balance is rotated over towards Lobby. His low HP of only 16 means this one is... Very, very unlikely to see him convert. Now he has some questions he needs to ask himself. Has the Kevlar, could save that, could take it into the next round, and then they go for the force buy because we know Spirit love a good force buy. You know he loves a good scout. And that could be uh, the potent mixture to break phase in the early stages. So the bomb now, we're getting to the halfway mark of it being ticked. He just needs to see if he can potentially find any heads. That'll add $300 to his bank balance and holding on to the Kevlar would be perfect. Now, if you are phase, you don't need to chase him. You don't need to hunt him. It'd be good to take the Kevlar away, but it's really not the end of the world. Just post that round on the board because the way that the first half ended, it was four straight for Spirit, breaking the bank, breaking that streak of rounds from phase. And here's the opening. Rain, the entry fragger with the P250. I like to see it. Obviously, we know that Cold, we know that Nico, we know that Brokey, actually every single name on that phase roster has potent aim, but giving it to your ride or die entry fragger of Rain. Seeing him being able to pull that off, that's lovely stuff. And now that buy will come out. So Spirit, we'll see Undisbalance going on to the Scout. Doesn't need to buy into Kevlar here, so it's just the Scout keeps $600 in the back pocket. And he'll be able to use that on a rainy day. SD1 to the Swag 7 and Deagles for everybody else. Squeaky's getting naded open, but it looks like they want to go towards ramp. This could be dangerous. There's multiple members here. Yeah, Scout tags, Deagle frags. That's what they need, and he tags. Let's see if there's any deagle action from Magix. The yeah, nade doesn't look far off. Could do good damage. He has already found oh. two. Two more low. Body shot brigade has arrived. Chopper softened up. Brokey down to 29. And so those two targets, Cold and Brokey, that's vulnerable to a nade. Keeping that door open is integral. It's not quite going to catch. It's a necessary target. So with the bomb down, power starts to shift back into phases favor. But when the smokes fade, there will be a line of sight. SDY with a Mag 7 as well. His target must have to be Nico. It's the only real fight that's viable for the weapon of choice. And I'll send Mir in as a scout, hoping for the pump action shotgun trade. Bloody hell, he went for that, and he? Flies through the air. And now the last two, low HP, but very well armed. Chopper's got to do something miraculous, and it doesn't happen. Well controlled by FaZe, but damage was done. Yeah, three for Brokey in that round right there. That one got sketchy, very, very sketchy. But... They survive, and what that means for Spirit will be a save round. They need to get the guns up in the following, which will be round number 19. The FaZe Clan will get a chance to stretch their legs, take a bit of a breath. And they should be able to deal with this from Spirit with ease, really, if we're going to be honest about the status quo of Counter-Strike. It is two USPs, two P250s, and the Deagle. It's always a, a threat, but... If they play this one right, they use their nades, their utility, their superior weaponry, trade efficiently, well, it should be a phase round. Now, it's a slow start. You want to see what you're working with. You want to see if a stack's come on into play. You've got Nico over towards Yar, just dealing with any players aggressive. On top of Silo right now is Rain in support. And you can see just how passive they're being. They don't want to die to a Deagle. They don't want to give anything away within the early stages, keeping that number advantage. Brokey on the back 10, meaning he can farm a little bit more money for his AWP in the future rounds, and they can also send him forward as a scout. Main's been smoked off, and it looks like they are taking the bomb and reconvening Yard. Nico's going to line up some nades, same with Brokey. Brain's on top of main now. They could even go all five players as they've re-smoked the main position. Maybe they want to go towards heaven. 
Take that yard control, get a little bit of space between themselves and the pistols. You can waterfall off of the ladder position into the top site. Or they can even go ramp back around to lower. But as the time trickles down, 45 seconds remaining, Mir push forward, he might catch one. He's seen someone, he's seen some information, but Nico's seen him first. Yeah, and they kept cold with the bomb not visible. So the CTs are not going to have enough information to fully commit to a stack. Brokey clearing towards disbalance. You can see how cheap he's being. Tugged it on the corner, using the MAC-10 to great success. Another to find, Magic's low, and now finished off. Oh, oh it's not connecting, could get awkward with a USP dink, SDY. Could have to hit some spectacular shots, it's not to be. So FaZe will convert, and that puts them into the nice start they were hoping for. So that's the pistol and the following two. It's not a given these days in Counter-Strike, so... Far from it. Yeah, being able to convert that here from FaZe is big stuff, and... They've really set themselves up a great platform to convert map number one, which was the choice of spirit. We'll be moving on to dust two as map number two. Let's see who gets us to 16 first. The guns are out. This is team spirit's Ooh. chance to turn things around. Just another of many outside smokes. This one looking to be a bit of a triple oh, bouncer. Oh, missed. I don't think that one's meant to be in credit card. Oh my, oh my nice. god. Oh, what a Where shot. Where did just hit that? Over oh. the top of the box. It must oh, have been. Back of Hell. his head. And Nico's already caught Mir as well on secrets. So it's just like that. Two individual duels won. And already Team Spirit scrambling to try and make something of this round. Nico could go down here. Chopper a quick adjustment. There's so many unknowns. Cold Zero's already getting that bomb down. There's nobody in a position to stop it. No kid, I think we have to save. Yeah, no one's presenting themselves. There's no kid on board. Ooh, Kirby's going to look for this. He's not far behind either. <laughs> They're all looking for him. It's a good chase, and it's a very important chase. If they're able to take away any more of these rifles, they can stifle Team Spirit early. The money's better on the side of things for FaZe, and with the bomb going off again, it's even more money into the back pocket. But Spirit will do a good job. They'll tuck away. They'll get out of dodge. No dramas. Both teams are going to put down their guns. Bomb will go off. So round number 12 on the board for FaZe. We're starting to pick up some steam. We might be getting the first FaZe clan map, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and they could do with it. Nuke's been been a rough one for them. What The the loss that they had, uh, roll it back as of recent times. Heroic, 10 to 16, fair enough. Vitality, 14 to 16. Mouse sports, 13 to 16. But then it started to get worse. Astralis loss then came in 7 to 16. And then Fnatic lost was four rounds is all they garnered. So they've been having a rough time, but if this is the road to recovery for them, if this is a, a good indicator, maybe they can build something from it. Alex, this looks pacey. Oh, oh my Kirby. God. It's pacey. Both of them did and this one's over. Gosh, very volatile rounds. Brokey and Nico though into the top side have got a ridiculous task ahead of them. Two of them on this, there's a world where they both peek in, but it's chopper to overwhelm oh. Nico. Does get overwhelmed, but he handles it with class. There's another. It was Mir on for the quickest 1v4 in Pro League, but Mir has 5 HP and lives to tell the tale. Wow. Nico, they're almost stealing he that one away. He nearly gave it. He nearly had it all. Look at this. The second one here is the most important because the low HP player of Chopper stepping on out for that trade just Whoa. fell like that. And oh, dear. Very, very close stuff. Whoa. Nice try there from Nico. That's some of the star power that we are talking about with the individuals on phase. They've been sleeping the Giants. Hopefully they can get awoken. And as the buy will come back out for Spirit. Oh, still in play. Chopper. Oh, it's the aggressive yard control. This is an all-in. This balance is so close, Alex. He's using that thing like a shotgun. Lovely. Combat orphan. We love to see it. Kirby and Cold. Once again, another quick one. Okay, well, it looked like it was starting to run away from FaZe. I run away from Spirit even, and now it might be running away from FaZe as the bomb's down. It's going to be hard for them to recollect. So almost that moment from Nico last round. This time it'd be... Can't be a cold to do something okay. about it. Chopper's kept one of the two in check. Where's Cold here? He does have the bomb. Trying to draw shots from disbalance. He does now note the position. 
Has to find a way around it still. Cresting that corner is going to be incredibly hard, but they have fallen away, adjusted. Great deals of respect shown to the individual. Of course, Cold Zero always more than capable of doing insane amounts of work, but 30 seconds now. Oh, Shut down. Yeah, needed to do a bit more damage there. You can see the money situation on Spirit. It's not fantastic. So if he was able to grab one or two more kills, really hamper that economy going forward, it might have been another scrappy guy at buy with some MP9s. But you can see this, this is the yard control, and they're doing it in a uh, very aggressive fashion. So by having Ida Spallance push on up with the AWP, the left eye peak almost comes out of question because it is with the AWP. He can post up and hold that line. And then having players close on the other side of Red Box, using the smoke so they can see towards the top of Silo. It's a nice play, some supportive flashes, supportive nades. And the buy will still come back out for phase. The plant would have been great. Could have maybe given them some AK-47s, but it would be Galil's instead. And a tech nine for Brokey. The fast smokes are coming through again. And this time around, I think they've landed correctly. So no gap this time. Rain can get some more entry frags like we've seen. Oh, is it to top? Oh, and they get them both. Phase, all of these recent attempts have just melted in front of them. Success a little, but Nico forced into another clutch scenario and they're both on the upper rafters. He gets overwhelmed. Another success for Team Spirit. And these ones, these rounds are happening so quickly, Chad. Yeah, and that's really strange because I thought when we were talking to Nico the other day, he said that they liked the slower stuff, especially the slower style that Nuke could give them so they could work around the map systematically. Uh, here, the, the, the fast rounds, the last three, They've all been obliterated. There was the hard top, the nades going off. Nico almost wins. It was the hard yard. They get shut down there. It was the fast fake of the outside smokes into the top split. Destroyed. So heads up, Counter-Strike seems to be Spirit's name of the game here today. Yeah, you're giving them what they want at this point. And now it's a save. So, okay. The scoreline should be looking like 12-11. Still in favor of FaZe. They still will maintain that lead for a little while longer. But how much longer is the question? Surely they just don't go out with a, with a simmer. No, 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 no. But the fast one's just clearly... It's an NO. <laughs> Denied entry. <laughs> what do you reckon they need to do off silo, Alex? Cat pass? Yeah, it's probably what? It's quite a high, heavy descent, so you probably would want to be... Uh... Just focusing on the landing, more the gap and the okay. precision. Would that be one of the, the rolling landings? Yeah, you, you can do. Um, those usually help with the impact. Yeah. Uh, however, it's obviously more stylish and uh, you get more parkour points if you if you land at precision. So oh, really? With your feet together. Okay. Stationary. Parkour points. Yeah. That's what it's all about, Lauren. It's about the same as everything. You just... Someone did it. Someone proved it's possible. So now I want to do it. All right. Yeah, that's okay. same as Counter-Strike. Someone proved the M4A1's not terrible, so now <laughs> more people are using it. Now Mir and Magics use it. Yeah. <sighs> now then, I'm I'm right there with you, Chad. There is there is a little doubt. Yeah. And, uh, but to be fair, I came into today with doubt. You know, okay. when Lauren's sitting there bigging them up, like, what a start from FaZe. I'm just like, yeah, well, hold your breath. Look, look, <laughs> look, when I see a win coming in, maybe. I know, but you were six rounds horny. You need to calm down with FaZe Plan. Because this can just tumble down so fast. Nico again caught outside, and again the early frags favor. That's of Team Spirit. Did you predict, Lauren? Uh, Spirit. Oh, there we go. Like, I can enjoy when they play when they get more than four rounds, which is the grand total they got against <laughs> Fnatic. I'll get excited for that, you know what? We're, we're looking at we're the We're going little victories things. at the moment, exactly. okay. We got a hope I predicted FaZe Clan, so... Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. okay. Be objective. I like uh, it. I'm being objective. I still would, would definitely like to see FaZe Clan piece this one together. If ever there was an opponent for them to do it, there are gaps in Team Spirit's game. It's true. And so that's the prediction, that's the justification. But yeah, in the in-game, it certainly is... Uh, it's a shame to see Cold Zero getting backstabbed again in the same way he was in that aforementioned Fnatic game from Lauren. He was getting knifed in the back twice Whoa. from that very same gap that was then shot in the back of the head uh, by the T side of Spirit. So yeah, same gaps. This time it's their T side though. Magic's holding one side of the head shot. It's only him. So Cold Zero can really win this four phase by swinging open this door. It's actually at the glass. Oh, he gets it. Found out by Kirby. If they get the bomb down before the rotate is established, we are gaming, and yep, they hear the two drops. So two of three, audibly. Oh, the spray is tested, and Kirby's signature wiggle converts. Oh, he saw. He does. He hits. 
Oh, this is actually legit. He can re peek on the left side and eliminates one. Upgrades there to the AK. Kyobis was low. As a smoke. Oh, you're right. He's got everything he needs here, Chad. Fake, though. Oh, From above, this no. balance with the clutch. Oh, FaZe are going to hate that one. And Team Spirit getting a little louder. Oh, no. The incendiary, he had every tool he needed. The incendiary for Horse to fight onto the healthy player. Cold was committed behind the vents. He picks up a smoke. He's got a kit. Kyirby's low. He's got an AK. It's all there. Oh, damn. A 2v3. I thought Kyirby's double kill was enough. He must have felt like it was enough. But Cold, look at his options here. None. Non-existent and disbalanced. All he had to do was fake it. The smoke forcing him into the line of sight. Oh, it's brilliant. I've re we've had a lot of good clutches in Pro League, especially in that North American side of things. I would love to get a bit of a highlight reel of the clutches in uh, real time, just to see the way that they play, the thought processes. Be a nice bit of long-form content. But speaking of long-form content, FaZe, long without a win. Now... They have slowed it down. No yard control, not losing any jewels in the early stages, holding Mir at bay. Another good game from him, 17 frags. Flash over, picks for info, sees nothing. May have heard some steps there. I'm not sure if the phase players are a little bit skittish on that and made a step or two, but they will get down secret. They don't have any smokes to work with, but they do have two Molotovs. And they have got two players in lobby as well, so they can, can assume and guarantee that there is no CT pushes for information yet. More static in the hold. Imagine There's no one lower. Still responsible for ramp. You're right, Chad. This sound cue, whether it's the decon door, there it is, or main. That's the first indicator that sight has been lost. This is much better from FaZe Clan. We're about to have a 5v5 retake here. Poor old Magix, what do you do in this as well? If you're just dedicated to ramp, you may have oh. an idea that Brokey's there. But yeah, he's been spotted. Rotation's going to be tricky. If they get this clean, maybe it's game back on, but timing is going to be a factor. You've got Nico in the vents. You've got pressure everywhere. This is a beautiful post plant for gonna FaZe. Are they going to save 5v5? Unicorn. Are they going to save 5v5? No, they're walking into Kirby's clutches here, Jack. And there's a lot of them. They really wanted to clear this out. Look at them fighting lobby with the bomb down lower. Magic's tagged up in the ramp room as well. Just trying to get themselves some sort of uh, posting. Wow. And they get away with it as well. So Disbalance losing his AWP. Recovered by Magix, though. And they do escape. What a curious round that one was. So the reason that we couldn't see Spirit rotating towards lower is because FaZe did a great job of cutting off all the potential rotations. Kirby's presence over towards the vent, or over towards Squeaky Door, denied vent. Nika was already in the vent, so if they dropped down, they had to deal with him. Brokey babysitting over towards ramp. So if they tried to push forward or drop down, he was there for the flank. So Team Spirit either losing the, the idea that FaZe could have gone down secret or assuming that they wouldn't, it's put them in a real tough spot right now. So they've reinvested with what they can. It's a full buy. Diffuse kits are out. Full set of nades for everybody in play. Might have to play forward if the smoke's again. And that nade from Mir is all the aggression that will be seen. And now it is the change of place, the change of pace. As nobody's in yard. FaZe Clan have gone without... Any members over towards that side of the map at the moment. And over towards ramp, they're setting up. So Cold's going to have a pop flash through this. Magix is about to be tested. Saw it, though. Real big indicator. Oh, it's off the corner. He does concede it. Normally, just balance guaranteed, but now burning. And found by Kirby. Magix, a lot to do. Realizing he can't be passive here. Can't let this go quietly. And he's far from quiet. A double roaring from the top of his lungs. Nika, however, relieving some pressure onto SDY. We do see the bomb in that ramp room, but they might be pivoting top here. Chopper committed lower, Mir on main. Seems like the right call. Nico's kill being the gateway to this, but Mir playing it back in. He's gonna be able to find Nico and somewhat cleanly, but doesn't expect Cold Zera so quick to be up. And now it's gonna be Chopper in the 1v2. Brokey on with the bomb. Shot. That's not bad from Chopper at all. And now the 1v1, he knows that Brokey's on the site. Chopper trying to Offset the timing, but Brokey's not really falling for this. He's got a lovely position in, and Chopper's got so many potential angles. And well, he just straight up fights him, and it works. Yeah, that works. Oh. Well, we were talking about how FaZe had their CT side economy broken towards the tail end of that first half. Well, the shoe's on the other foot right now, as Team Spirit are the ones who have no money to work with. And they're sitting on the cusp of losing round number 15. So the choice is, do we force now? Do we give it our all? Do we see if we can steal one away? Or do we take the save? Oh, dear. 
Okay. Bit of frustration from SDY there. And they've gone for the save. So we'll just see some upgraded pistols. Nico straight out, wants to keep fighting, barreling forward, grabs one, but all the pistol strike back. Yeah, short term. Disbalance was to catch a cold. There's a chance. He was so ready for that. Cold Sarah just decided this round is his, the quad kill. And a 15 phase plan on Team Spirit's pick. This was the compulsory map win. And the first in 10, should they convert it? Of course, far from a guarantee. This is T-side nuke. The fact that they've already posted what looks to be six. A seventh would be the one to secure it. Okay, shotgun out, AWP out. No kits for Spirit. If they lose side control, the retake, it's gonna have to be a little bit swifter. The yard control coming through once more. That means it's just chopper towards the top side to defend. Oh, Kirby's just snuck through the smoke there. Planning's unbearable. Chopper still gets it? I mean, the trade comes in, but this is scrappy now. Remember, no kits for this retake. Yeah, that's good incendiary. Look at that. Buys some great time for the setup. SDY locked out from main side too. This is what phase we're looking for. Oh, dear. How do they even get back into this? No kits, Chad. You're bang on. This just feels like the half. Ooh. Half health from Cold Sarah. Not going to be too much of a problem. One way and a flash. They've got to go. They're running out of time. He frags. There's the first, but it's Brokey. And he's not done just yet. Good shots all around, and that's the end of it. Double kill for Rain and Brokey to pull them into a map victory. Good energies for face